Hi, I'm Carl from Earthquaker Devices, and I'm excited to share with you the Afterneath Eurorack Synthesizer Module. It is a re-envisioning of our popular reverb effects pedal, the Afterneath Otherworldly Reverberator. We have added several features, including CV control through the drag, mode, diffuse, and length, a send and return for the reflect, a dry kill switch, and nine modes that control the behavior of the drag control as well as how it responds to control voltage. It is 16 HP wide and inch and a quarter deep with the power header installed, so it is skiff friendly. To demonstrate the afterneath module, I've made a simple monosynth patch using the collection of modules you see here. The patch starts with the IntelliGel Dixie Oscillator. Then, it goes into the Manhattan Analog CP3 Mixer then into the Dopefer A124 WASP filter. Next, into the Pittsburgh Modular Dual Index VCA. Then into the Afterneath module. Finally, it goes out through the Make Noise ROSY. The sequence you're hearing is the MFB Dominion 1 synthesizer. Throughout the patch, we'll be adding extra modules such as the ModCan Dual Frequency Shifter, the Make Noise Maths, Wogglebug, Renee, and a few more. Let's dive into the controls and features. First, let's start out with the non cviable controls. The input knob. This adjusts the level of the incoming signal. It ranges from instrument level clockwise to modular level counterclockwise. It also attenuates the signal completely when fully counterclockwise. Next, the mix knob. This controls the amount of wet signal that is mixed in with the dry signal. Though it does not go completely wet, you can achieve a full wet signal by engaging the dry kill switch. Dampen. This controls the tone of the wet signal. Clockwise for darker tones. And counterclockwise for brighter tones. This is the most drastic, with longer length settings. Reflect. This controls the regeneration of the reverb. Turn the control clockwise for more echoes and wash. Counterclockwise for less. This will cause self-oscillation if turned up too high with longer length settings. The knob also acts as an attenuator when there is a signal passed into the reflect return jack. And now we'll talk about the reflect send jack. This allows external patching and processing of the reflect feedback path. Patching from this output does not interrupt the internal feedback path. Reflect Return Jack. This allows the return of the externally patched and processed reflect feedback path. Also, it can be used as an additional audio input if you wish to forego the feedback. The Reflect knob acts as an attenuator for the audio that is patched into this input. Please note that processing of the reflect feedback path can easily result in self-oscillation when processing with effects such as distortion or a resonant filter. The reflect knob can be used to compensate for this factor. Patching a cable into this input will disconnect the internal feedback path, but the reflect send will still be active. To demonstrate the reflect send and return, I will patch into the ModCan dual frequency shifter. The reflect send will go into the input of the frequency shifter. The output will then go into the reflect return of the afterneath. To introduce the external feedback path, we will turn the reflect knob clockwise.
Now, to get to what really makes the Afterneath module unique, the CV controllable features. Each of the four CV wool parameters has its own inverting attenuator. The CV is at unity gain when the attenuator is fully clockwise. It is inverted when it is fully counterclockwise. And the CV is completely attenuated when the attenuator is in the 12 o'clock position. The Afterneath CV controls respond best to a 0 to 5 volt signal. Please note that bipolar signals may need additional offset voltage from an external source to bring the entire control signal within the response range. When using control voltage, the knob associated with that parameter will act as an offset. Therefore, you will want to adjust the knob and the dedicated inverting attenuator to bring the control voltage to the desired operating range for the parameter. It is helpful to start with the knob in the 12 o'clock position and the inverting attenuator fully clockwise, then adjust as necessary. The drag control. This separates the delay lines, creating a stuttering, pingy effect. The effect is more delay-like as you turn it counterclockwise. It is more reverb-like as you turn it clockwise. You will achieve shorter delay times as you turn the knob clockwise, and longer delay times as you turn it counterclockwise. You will notice a change in pitch when adjusting this control with sound present in the effects buffer, or when the effect is self-oscillating. Now we will add modulation from channel 4 of the maths into the drag control input. We will adjust the attenuator to allow a positive signal into the drag input. Next, we will turn the attenuator to invert the signal coming in from the maths. Mode. This controls the behavior of the drag control as well as how it responds to control voltage. There are nine different modes for the Afterneath module. The various modes will be explained in detail later on in this video. Some of the modes are unquantized to allow smooth modulation of the drag control and affect the knob as well as CV modulation. Other modes are quantized for different scales and intervals. This also affects the knob as well as incoming control voltage. Diffuse. This control smooths and diffuses the delay repeats. You can achieve sharper transients with more attack counterclockwise. you'll get more ambient reverb-like effects as you turn it clockwise. And I will use channel 4 of the maths to modulate the CV input of the diffuse control. As the cycle rises, it changes from a delay-like effect to a more reverb-like effect. Length. This controls the decay length of the reverb. Turning the knob counterclockwise shortens the decay. While turning the knob clockwise lengthens the decay. We will now use channel 4 of the maths to modulate the CV input of the length. We can then change the offset with the length knob and use the reversing attenuator to invert the signal. This changes how the maths is affecting the length of the decay. Next, we're going to talk in depth about the key features and highlights of the Afterneath module. Let's dive deeper into the nine modes. The modes govern how the change in pitch occurs when adjusting the drag knob or modulating the drag control with CV. Mode 1 is unquantized and allows smooth modulation of the drag control.
mode two is unquantized but with slew. It slews the change between drag settings. Mode 3 is 1 volt per octave unquantized. This will make the afterneath track 1 volt per octave, but does not choose any discernible pitches as it is still smooth all the way through the range. Mode 4 is quantized 1 volt per octave to the chromatic scale. Mode 5 is quantized 1 volt per octave to the major scale. Mode 6 is quantized to the minor scale. Mode 7 is quantized to the pentatonic scale. Mode 8 is quantized to octaves and fifths. Everything else is omitted. The ninth and final mode is quantized to octaves only. Everything else is omitted. It is normal for the afternoon module to self-oscillate when using higher settings of the length and reflect controls, especially when they are set above noon. Self-oscillation is the most consistent when both controls are fully clockwise. When the afternoon is self-oscillating, the dampen knob controls the tone of the self-oscillation. We can patch the make noise woggle bug to the drag CV input to control the pitch of the afternoon's oscillation. If we run the output through the dope for A124 WASP filter, it makes the patch more dynamic and interesting. When using an external control voltage, the drag knob acts as an offset for the incoming CV. Due to the nature of the effect, the drag parameter responds only to positive voltages between 1.6 and 4.1 volts. You can turn the drag knob to offset the incoming voltage response range. Please note, bipolar signals may need additional voltage offset from an external source to bring the entire control signal within the response range of the drag parameter. For 1 volt per octave tracking with a keyboard during self-oscillation, turn the inverting attenuator for the drag CV fully clockwise. Then set the drag knob to 12 o'clock. Next, select one of the 1 volt per octave modes, 3 through 9. We're going to use mode 4. This is 1 volt per octave tracking quantized. 
Turn the length and repeat knobs fully clockwise for self-oscillation. We'll adjust the dampen control to get the tone that we want for the oscillation. Next, we'll find the range of our keyboard CV source. In this case, it will be the MFB Dominion 1. We will plug the CV out from our keyboard into the drag input. Next, we'll press the highest note we wish to play. For this example, we will use A. Now we will turn the drag knob counterclockwise until the pitch lowers. Then, raise the drag knob back up until it just barely reaches the highest pitch. We have placed the drag control offset just past the point where it stops raising the pitch. We will now lower the length and reflect knobs to stop the self-oscillation. This process has scaled the afterneath to the range of our CV source. Now we will introduce an A from the Dixie oscillator into the afterneath, then set it to self-oscillate. Now, when we press A on our keyboard, the afterneath pitch will correspond to the key pressed. This will continue down for about three octaves, roughly. For our final patch, we will be using the afterneath with the dry kill engaged in the effects send and return of the Make Noise Rosie. The reflect send jack will be used to create a pseudo stereo effect in combination with the Make Noise Rosie. The mix out of the afterneath is patched into the left return on the Rosie. The reflect send of the afterneath is then patched into the right return. Now I will introduce the reflect return coming from the ModCan frequency shifter. So that is just a small taste of what the Afterneath module can do. With so many audio and CV sources, there are many more sounds to discover. To learn more about the Afterneath Eurorack synthesizer module, visit our website at earthquakerdevices.com.